So you want to do craft shows. 16 important lessons I learned by doing craft shows. An online video tutorial at craftartedu.com. Jewelry design is a life lived with wearable art. My name is Warren Feld and I'm here to share some of my life experiences and insights with you about beading and jewelry making. In this class, I discuss critical choices jewelry designers, as well as other craft and fine artists, need to make when doing craft shows. It is very important for anyone thinking about selling at craft shows or festivals, bazaars, markets, or similar settings, whether you sell jewelry or other crafts or art, to be smart about it. That means understanding everything involved and asking the right questions. Many years ago, I started my business with my partner James by doing flea markets and craft shows. Eventually our business evolved into one store, then a second store, and an online business. But you never forget your roots. There are many advantages to doing craft shows. You can make good money. You can jumpstart and enhance your reputation. You can learn a lot of good business tricks and find out a lot of good resources if, and that's a big if, you know what you're doing. All too often, jewelry designers and other craft and fine artists who want to do craft shows have not done their homework. They have not researched and evaluated which shows to do and which not to do. They have not figured out how best to set up their booths and displays. They are clueless about what inventory to make and to bring and how to price it. They are unprepared to promote, to market, and to sell. I developed this online tutorial to help prepare you for doing this kind of craft show homework. I discuss what information you need to gather, how to set personal and business goals, how to find, evaluate, and select craft shows, and how best to promote and operate your business at these craft shows. In fact, I go over 16 lessons I learned for successfully doing craft shows. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing these 16 important lessons. I've divided these into two groups. First, I discuss lessons about finding and selecting craft shows. These lessons are about how to find craft shows and determine how well you and your business will fit in. The second group of lessons are about how to promote and operate your business at these craft shows. These lessons focus on booth setup, how best to organize all the various tasks involved, how to promote your business, how to manage money, and how to make sales. Then I offer some final words of advice. At the end of the tutorial, I have a page of internet resource links for you to explore in more detail. The materials you will need to have on hand are paper, pencil, and a calculator. Visit craftartedu.com to view this one hour and 53 minute tutorial entitled So You Want to Do Craft Shows. Thank you.